How you guys doing today? I got another video on YouTube. Uh, follow me on YouTube channel. It's Impala Mike. My Instagram is at Impala Mike underscore. I do appreciate the feedback and people reaching out to me. I'm a one man show and I work, have a family. So if you guys ever need to get a hold of me, sometimes I'm a hard hard to get a hold of. You know, I wish I could work on everyone's stuff. But you know, if I had someone to help me that's skilled, you know what, I would use them, but can't find them. But anyways, today I'm going to be speaking about uh, our doing an inspection, quick inspection on the 74 Caprice uh, convertible rack and just going on the ins and outs and what it needs and what it's missing. Um, the gentleman, uh, he came over uh, and he asked me to, uh, to look at it and I'm going to get him going on the parts list. So let's go ahead and do that. So overall, looking at it, the finish is actually pretty good. It's an original uh, looking rack and this came out of a 74 Caprice. Uh, the second bow right here. See how it has the, the plastic? That's the aftermarket one. It should look more like this. But uh, what I did when I was looking at it, um, I was looking under here. I want to see, you know, it has a little bit of rust and, you know, maybe one of the tabs are a little uh, rusted off, but that's all right. But overall, this is a good original header bow. So we're good there. Second bow ball joint brackets. Uh, looks like it got bent some, somehow or something. So those are going to have to be replaced. We have uh, replacements of these already, new in the bag. So uh, we're gonna need a bushing kit, a brand new bushing kit. We're gonna go back with the original hardware. This is, it looks like some uh, grade five hardware that this doesn't even have the nut on there. So that's something I'll be addressing um, in these. Let's see. Overall, what I'm seeing, uh, the tack strip that the rear one, the U-shaped one is still in the car. So I'm gonna have to, um, inspect that for any rust or anything like that and then i don't see my uh fourth bow the pipe one that goes right above the window so that's something we're gonna have to get and then on the third bow i don't see any of this plastic that goes right here and this is this helps with the adjustment right here so i'm gonna have to get some of those but this one you can order and what i did see on the other side i think i've seen a crack on the other side so that's gonna have to be welded uh, we're going with a satin black finish once all the parts are in, but I don't know how this happened This should be attached, but see how this is bent right here We got the, the side arm without even making the side arms move a lot. It just like it needs side arms So that's gonna have to happen uh, We got the brackets right here And the adjustment slides I got the hardware for that um I'll be uh, putting the original hardware back on here because uh, there are certain hardware that has, uh, it's the heads are thick, oh sorry, I'm all over here talking and looking at the same time, apologize for that, but uh, I don't do edited videos, what you see is what you see, no special sound, so it's me and only me, but here's some of the hardware, this is all we have for this and I need to go with the original hardware, see that, that should be attached. So I'm glad we have these original, but we're gonna need these for these link brackets. We need some hardware for those. Um, yeah. This doesn't look like an original one. That looks like an original Chevy one for an engine, but it's too long. Yeah. Yeah, this is the crack I was talking about. So I have these six bolts that go here for that plate. Then I have um, some mount hardware for the rack. I'm missing uh, one here, and then the I'm guessing the two stud ones are in the car. Uh, the gentleman already got uh, uh, redid gearboxes, so they were redid. You know these are a little pricey. Um, new um, latches. We got a pair of those. New alignment pins, tension cable for when the top goes on. Uh, we got one of the drive cables, so we're gonna need the, the blue one. And then these arms are brand new also. We got the tension springs, and we got the arms for the glass back window. Just, I don't see the end links. But, all right guys, let me see. Um, I just wanted to do the quick video on the 74 Caprice. I'm gonna give the guy a parts list. And when he gets everything, I'll probably be uh, putting it, tearing it down for powder coating. Uh, I like to go to Leon's Powder Coating in Oakland. I like their work. Go with the semi-gloss. But this is uh, video one for the 74 Caprice. Stay tuned.